liquid gold. Uh, I was thinking of this picture in 1 Peter 1, 7. Peter writes about our faith being worth more than gold. And, you know, this kind of came on the back of me meditating a little on Ephesians 3, uh, 7, shoot, 7 right through to 21. Uh, please read this scripture. Also, then I came across today Colossians 2, 2 to 3. And, you know, I just saw again Paul's heart. Paul had a vision of God in himself. He considered himself less than the least of God's people. That includes you, Ephesians 3, 8. But by the grace of God, he had been given revelation. Uh, we read about this in uh, Galatians uh, 1. He speaks about having received his revelation from God. Also, 2 Corinthians 12, we see that Paul received revelations beyond utterance from God. He had revelation and grace to preach the gospel and to make plain the mystery of God. Now, Paul had a vision of God. Read about it in Ephesians uh, 3, 16 to 19. His prayer for you and me, his message to the saints was that we would see this truth of, of the height and breadth and depth and width of God's love and that we would have power to grasp this love and be in union with God. Uh, he talks about the mystery of God being revealed. We see this in Colossians 1.27 as well. In this, Christ in you, the hope of glory. This was the mystery hidden, he speaks of in Ephesians 3, that he sees now open, that man can be in relationship and connection with God directly. This is the mystery of God that now through Jesus, the door, John 10, 9, now we can come back into relationship with God. This was a mystery. It, I mean, man in connection with God. That's the reality of the Garden of Eden. That is the message of the gospel. The fact that man can be back in connection and relationship with God, that was a mystery. It was hidden, but it became truth and accessible to us through Jesus Christ. And Paul said he was called to make this mystery plain to you and to me. And he, this was his prayer. He was impassioned by us catching this vision, being inspired, being lost in this revelation of being able to be in union and experience of God. Do you experience God? Do you sit in the presence of His Spirit through Jesus Christ and know this mystery revealed? Christ in you, not just Christ, Christ in you the hope of glory, Emmanuel, Isaiah seven fourteen, God with us. So I was thinking of this, just this faith picture, your faith more precious than gold, 1 Peter 1, 7. By faith we please God, Hebrews eleven six. By faith we enter into this relationship with Jesus and we enter through Jesus back into this spirit connection with God and it is more real than your real today. And I just want to encourage you, this is the place where the rivers flow. This is not only where God flows into you, it's where God flows out of you and saves souls. It is, it is incumbent on us to please God with faith, to move in towards God, lean in on Him as did the Syrophoenician woman, Matthew 15, 21 to 28. Move in, lay claim to, to these, these uh, abundant riches and uh, know it and let it spill through us for the salvation of other people and for the glory of God, Ephesians 3.10. So listen, be encouraged. Your faith is more precious than gold and it flows. It's not just gold, it's liquid gold uh, for you, for others, to the glory of God. Be blessed.